So every time I tried to link it, it, it kicked me out of the video. So my phone is now paired up, I do believe. Hit continue. All right, and I'll go back to the home page. What I want to do is go to phone, now that my phone is paired, and hit contacts. And put down my call list. Brings up everything I've called and who I called. Go into my favorites. If you have not created an account, well, that's okay, that's fine. Let's keep moving on. Next feature, radio. This is the one I've been waiting for. Whew. It's hot in this car. Move the seat back. Alrighty here. Uh, we do have XM radio. Um, you just pretty much slide across with your finger to go into the station that you want to listen to. Uh, uh, we just said XM. There we go. So we got Sirius XM, FM, and AM. So let's go here. Bob Marley Station. And... Slide the volume across. You see on the screen it's sliding across. It's no reception because we're indoors here, so let's go to FM. You know, there's uh, an inescapable reality that when we turn it down, things are going to crop up. So there's all the different stations here. Let's take a listen. Gets pretty loud. Hit mute. It's pretty loud. Um, it's a nice surround system here. We have speakers in the A pillar, speakers in the lower part of the door, um, uh, speakers in the center console, uh, speakers in the back door, and speakers that built into the red deck. You can see the ambient color. So that's pretty much all the radio, the XM radio. Now, let's go into the equalizer. Uh, it does have 3D sound, sound profile. 3D sound. like personal preference now with this feature here if you look it's got the violin so you can dial in what you want the violin to say we can do this because this is mercedes property so turn it up all right hit continue now it's going to like your high so how if we put it here we can just barely hear that go to the next one and you hear the two playing together so if we hit back we can go back and turn this down Continue, turn this up, then hit continue. And see how that works? So you can control how loud certain parts of the music is. Hit this here, let's continue, balance. Now we're gonna add some drum to it. So I'll turn it down. Just barely hear the drum. continue now if you look at that it's the graph we're gonna make it more intensified over in the bass more on speech brilliance and then intensity so that's taking all three of those instruments and giving them a more predominant sound on based on what you want it to be if you want it to be more of a speech if you listen to a podcast you put in the pad if you listen to something with a heavy bass or if you want it to sound really intensive, like almost like a uh, Dolby Atmos type sound, you go to intense in, intensity, intensive. And then if you want it to be brilliant, go down here and you can see how it's like, like all tweeter. So, and then anywhere in between. Hit continue. Now that is the surround sound. We raise it up. Now it sounds more immersive. It sounds like everything's in front of me and immersed and it's almost ear level. So now we got the CD sound. It's basically playing from like the hip. When we raise this up, it raises the dynamic range of it. So it's like coming up with a windshield up over my head, down on the floor. So if I take the 3D out and go down here, it's more like it's right here. And turn this around down. Now I can, I can hear a separate left and separate right. Here, it sounds like everything's right in front of me, like someone's standing on the dashboard uh, and playing this instrument. Go to the next one. 
neutral, soft, warm, punch. Oh, and you can feel that punch. And hit finish, and that's it. That's the features for the radio. And this is just the first page. We still got three more to go on this page. But if we slide over, oh no, that is it. Uh, is that it? All right, media. Uh, obviously, oh, oh, wow. Oh man, oh, that, dang, I love this song because I know the bass in this song. Back in the Circuit City days, we used to do stereo competitions where we'd have the, who had the loudest system. Rockford, Fosgate, Alpine, Kenwood, uh, Pioneer, they would all come out with their demo vehicles to demonstrate how loud and powerful and clean and clear their systems were. And, and almost everybody at that time, this was uh, the 90s, uh, everybody was playing Madonna's Vogue because like, and, and all the guys were like Madonna Vogue. I was like, what? Yeah, whatever. But when that when the music played, like right now, I'll, I'll turn it up a little bit. And that and that ain't that isn't doing nowhere near what these demo vehicles were doing. And I'm like, man, this is just awesome. So yeah, that's a great song. If you got a great sound system, play that in your car, and it's just it's just amazing. All right, have to stop that for the sound bites. Information, standard information, vehicle consumption, uh, what are you doing for gas mileage and things of that nature. It's kind of self-explanatory if you just read it. Um, it just pretty give, give you a highlight of what, you, of what you're doing. Go back and go to the engine. I'm going to go to the seats and turn the seats off. It's not doing anything because the car is not running. Uh, let's go back into comfort and turn the seats off. Stop. Because that's been going the whole time that I've been sitting here. Okay. And you notice here when you're in the navigation here. I don't actually... I want to go to the climate. Please switch the vehicle on. That's right. He took the keys so I can't do anything. The air filter... The system has a uh, an ionizer in it that cleans up the air that comes in and sends out a, a scent. Uh, that's usually located in the glove compartment. You can see it in the back corner there uh, With that light there you put your your fragrance in there and when you press that button it will Send a scent through the car that comes out the vent and keeps the car smelling New car or whatever the scents are so there's a lot of features here to look at this car, but given uh, Here's your open your trunk here is that button there your window controls up and down to fold the mirrors in when you turn the car on or off to adjust the mirrors, um, your headlight controls, auto switch and everything. This is nice that this is here and not on the stock. Stock, here's your turn signals. Here's your gear. Uh, rotate this for your washers. Um, Ford for the high beams, low beams. You see that there? Um, trying to do this because I'm starting to sweat bullets in this dang car. Three memory seats. Get the seat where you want to, hit memory. And one, and you hear that? Now, anytime you get in the car, and go to that memory seat. So, also, with your key, if you have your, your key, say you have two keys, what you get with this car. Your wife has one, you have one. You come to the car, move the seat to where you want it to be with the key, you press and hold that, and it will know that anytime this key, your key that you're holding, comes to the car and knows to unlock the door, change the radio station to where you had it last, the climate controls to where you had it last, and move the seat to where you had it last. You park the car, and the next day your wife takes the car. She comes to the car, and it'll go to memory seat two, whatever she decides to pro program it, and it'll do the same thing. Move the seats to where she was in it last, and the climate controls to where she was, and the radio stations she was listening to. And uh, yeah, man, this is super duper hot in here. You got the panoramic sunroof here. Um, it's not going to open because, once again, the guy's got the key. I don't know why he didn't leave me the key, but it's okay. Um, and it opens up it, it opens up to about right about here, so it doesn't open up all the way, but that's fine. It's a Mercedes way back here. That's, that's more than enough to put some fresh air in the car, which I got to get some. So let's take a look underneath the hood. Don't forget your key. What key? There is no key in here. Let me see. Okay, I don't need to forget the key because the key's not in here. All right, open the hood. It also has soft closed doors, so when you, if you don't close the doors all the way, or the kids don't close the door all the way, it will automatically. Oh, this is the dual. Oh yeah, 
this is the dual one, so you have to pull the hood release twice in order for this to open. Um, okay, it's underneath the car here. Where are we at here? One, two. Now we should be able to just lift the hood up and it opens. Yep. Um, inline six. They make an inline six, they make a V6, uh, an eight cylinder. And if you can put the room to put an inline six, you can easily put a V12, which Mercedes is not offering on this car. Uh, they still make it for other car companies, but they don't offer it in their car lineup anymore. Maybe in the next year or two before the Mercedes is supposed to go all electric by 2030, maybe as a last hurrah, maybe they'll make a special edition, special edition or a limited edition version of that car but good gas mileage good power um very quiet I, when he started up i should have been re recording but it's very 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 quiet so the way that the dual hinge works is uh this one here releases the hood um and there's a secondary catch and pulling that secondary catch releases the hood completely so this is a first and the second or first or second either way so when you pull it once at least that just pull it again release that then you just lift up on the hood very solid sound. The door handles, you already know they retract. Let me see here. Press that. If you don't have the key, I guess it doesn't retract in. Looking in the back seat, this particular one does not have the rear seat climate control, but you can see there's a lot of space. Beautiful, straightforward interior design, ambient lighting throughout, all the way around. Look at the floor there underneath the seat, you can see ambient lights. I'm almost positive that can be turned off, but I don't see it changing color. So typically with that color should be the same as the rest of the ambient lighting in this car. Separate window controls um, for the passengers in the rear. You can open up your window, the driver's of uh, the passenger side window, and you have shades that you can open and close the shades. So if you're sitting in the back by yourself, you can actually close the shades on the back windows. So the one in the back window, you see that go up. I don't know if that went up on. So let's see if we can make it go down. All right. So the one in the back. So there's one in the back here, and there's ones in the door. This right here lifts up or folds up. This folds up, and then the other one comes out of, out of that location. Hmm. Coming in the back, like I said before, this is the S500. This is the dealership that has the cars. We open up the trunk. It's powered lift up and down. Ample space for storage. Let's see if it has a spare. No spare tire, so these must be either run flat tires or they just anticipate you not having a flat tire. Uh, it looks like it's got a service repair kit. Lots well, of license plate, tow hook cover, tow hook. Uh, these white straps, gotta wonder, uh, just for hanging some clothes in the trunk. That's nothing special. Pass through from the center console. Um, in the old days, you say if you want to carry your skis, you just open up that door and slide your skis all the way through and close your trunk. I don't think anybody uh, is using that that way anymore. People have dedicated SUVs for stuff like that. To close your trunk, you have a button here. You notice here it has indicate warnings to let people know that your deck lid is open. So if you're standing here and someone's you're on the side of the road, you're standing here with your trunk open, getting your not spare tire. But getting something out the trunk, this is kind of like a warning. Let someone know, hey, this guy, someone's standing here. The trunk's open. Watch out. Press that button, and she closes. All right. Unfortunately, since I don't have the keys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for your time. Like and subscribe. My next video, I'm going to look at a looking at a Volkswagen ID4. All right. Thank you. Bye.